All right, what's happening, folks? We got a Glock 45 in the house. Sam's doing something weird. <laughs> You're so hard. I know, I know, right? <laughs> he uh, flinched. <laughs> all right, uh, Sam, scary. All right, so there's the 19X, right. which was a contender to be the MH. It was it was an entry by Glock for the NHS program. Obviously, Sig won out. We won't get into the details of that. But uh, and here's this Glock 45, which is not a 45 caliber. It is a nine millimeter. You can try to make 45. it 45. Just won't work. I know, but the numbering system. I mean, uh, obviously, the next Glock that'll be made is a Glock 46, and who knows what caliber it is. That's just Some how they number them. Don't so, know that. I know. That's why I'm saying it. So a Glock 45, 45 that is a nine mil. It'll be 45. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, tell tell me something about the Glock 45. What is this? The Glock 45. It's a Gen 5 pistol, um, and it ex it's. It's not a 17, and it's not a 19, and it's not a, a, a 19X. It, it has a couple of different um, additions. It has the front cocking serrations. Uh, it does not have the uh, front beveled cutout um, like the, the Gen 5 19 so, does. Yeah, some people were complaining about that cutting right. their hand, too. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Didn't I, bother no. me either, but... It, um, it does have a, a slightly flared magwell, so if you're in that camp, you'll, you'll dig it. Um, it's... To me, it's a really controllable 19 because you can get more of your hand on it like a 17, and uh, you know grip is so important when you're shooting a handgun. Uh, it really, really yeah. helps out. I, yeah. I, yeah, absolutely. I dig the pistol. I really, really do. Um, it points well. It feels good. The trigger, the stock trigger in the Gen 5s is probably what a Glock trigger should have been all along. It's so good, in fact, yeah. I don't think you need to modify it. Not that I was really ever big on modifying triggers myself, but... Um, if you ever were in that camp, you know, now I don't know if it's necessary to drop $200 on a trigger. Dude, no, I would, I would keep that trigger exactly like yep. it is. I would not replace it. John, what do you think of that trigger? So the, the trigger alone is huge compared to the Gen 3s and Gen 4s. I think Gen 4 got worse. Absolutely. And uh, well, Gen 2 was great. Gen 3 got worse. Gen 4 got even worse. Uh, Gen 5, they yep. fixed. Gen 4 Glock 17s feel better than me, better to me than 19s. Have you noticed? Actually, well, I won't get into it, but with the Gen 4s, if you put a Gen 3 bar in them, they usually work a little smoother. Anyway, all right, Either cool. Way. Out of the box, awesome trigger. You don't even need to replace <clears throat> it. Yeah. I, I don't think so. It's actually really nice. And, and it comes with the smooth 17 style shoe instead of the serrated 19 style shoe that some people tend to change, like me. It's good. So the other thing that's different from this and the 19X is the beveling over here. The flared. So instead of it only being flared here and flared here, it's actually flared up here as well. That's good. So you're adding once more another uh, angle or another section of the gun that you're going to actually get a nice little magwell in. And you probably don't need a magwell. Oh, pretty cool. Save you some time. Uh, the the uh, pistol grip right here is built for a 17, whereas the slide is the length of a 19. That's what, something that Sam alluded to. It also has ambidextrous controls, so congratulations, lefties. You get to party as well. Uh, and also right here at the muzzle, you see how it's kind of cut down, so it looks a little sexier, not quite as boxy. I don't care about that, but some people do. The finger grooves are also missing, so party on. Uh, so a lot of uh, a lot of changes. The uh, 19X also has a little lanyard loop right there, so you can tie stuff down. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, and then so pretty cool gun. I mean, I would definitely I would definitely get this. So uh, pretty groovy. Y'all have anything else? Yay for that. Yeah, yay for that indeed. Uh, well, uh, another thing, like let's say let's say you're in the camp of uh, of wanting to put comps on your gun. Right? I like comp guns. Everybody tries them out or likes them, hates them, whatever. It doesn't matter. But if you're going to put a comp on it, right, most of the time if you have a 17 size gun or a 17, uh, you can't put a full size comp on there and find a holster that fits it because it's a little bit longer than a 34 length. With the 19 <laughs> length, if you put a regular comp on there, bam, you mm -hmm. have the length of a 34 and now you can fit in regular holsters and all your whiz bang gadgets can work. Yep. Why would you do a Glock 34 when you could have a 19 or 17 with a comp? Um, more killy. Uh, more killy? <clears throat> One of the reasons they do that is uh, they lighten the spring oh. too. Oh, yeah. And the spring and the, well, with a lighter recoil spring, it but actually... If you had to choose between the two. I like the comps. Uh, yeah. 
Some people don't <gasps> like comps, so they'll go to a 34. Hey, dog, we're making a video. Come on, YouTube's <laughs> like, that dog? Then now this is happening. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. So, dog has no manners. Dog, no manners. Uh, it's learning. It's being house trained. Um, so another reason for a 34 opposed to using a 19 that's comped or 17 that's comped is some people have uh, the inclination that shooting comp in a close retention or a, a pretty much a point blank type situation where your face is above where your muzzle or where the uh, ports or comp ports are going to be is going to set you on fire or kill you or something like that. So some people go for the 34 instead. Um, <laughs> it doesn't that's, happen. You're not going to die. That is quite a contention. Wait a I was just down in the burn ward, and there were half the burn ward. Those guys who got you know, burned just, really bad. For their what cops. happened to you? Yeah. 34? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thank God for the Shriners. Wait, 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 just saying. So, you're not going to die. <laughs> you're not going to die. There or you caught on fire. All right, awesome. Cool. Uh, Glock 45, pretty exciting. I hope to get one uh, sometime in the future. Thanks for... Uh, $500. $500. All right, sold. I'll buy it now. Well, let me see your ID. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm legal. <laughs> train hard, train smart. We'll see you next time.